Yo, 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 what is up? King Kang here. And uh, today, as you read inside, we're gonna, I'm gonna be, for the first time, finally, listening to and reviewing Bongzilla's new album, Wisconsin. <coughs> so this motherfucker, <laughs> it came out last year, 2021, right on uh, 420. And fuck, I did, I, I fucking knew. I knew it was, come, it was gonna come out, and then it came out. But fuck, I just never got around to it. I never got the time to get to it. <clears throat> and I, I was going to do a review for it and everything. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now. <clears throat> it's going to be 420 soon. But yeah. So, uh, and here's what I'm going to do. Here's here's it's going to go. So I'm going to review the album. Um... <clears throat> Sober and high. So first, this first portion is going to be, <coughs> you know, so maybe you don't smoke yet. Um, whatever. And because stoner metal can still be good to listen to while, while, you know, while sober. It can still, it's still good shit. And so, oh, and this is the first album that uh, Bongzilla's come out with since, what was it, in 15 years or some shit like it it's been a long ass time it's been way too fucking long um <laughs> since their last release so this is their comeback um album so yeah fuck yeah finally the kings of stoner metal are back so yeah and um anyway as i was saying so first i'm going to review it uh while sober and if you want to skip to you know while high i'll leave a little number thing right here um, but yeah, so, uh, so what I'm going to do, <coughs> both while sober and highs, I'm going to review it, because the album, I really want to be in depth with it, and there's one song that's 10 minutes long, and one that's 15 minutes long, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is one song, I'm going to, after each song, after I'm done with each song, I'll commentate on it a little bit, um, yeah. And then give an overall review. Normally, I listen to all of them straight on. I might for the first two. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. But, uh, probably each song, I'm going to do, like, a review of each individual song right after I'm done with them. Give you a little comment, commentary of what I think and everything. And then, once I'm done with it, while sober... I'll give you an overall review of how it is while sober, and then I'll I'll do the exact same thing while high, um, commentate on each one individually after I'm done with them, how it was while high, how trippy it was while high, and everything. <laughs> Fuck. Here's the thing though. So, being high, it, it's all it can, be, being high can be completely different. Whether it all depends on what strain you're smoking and what type, whether it's an indica, sativa, or hybrid. Um, what time of day, or or at night, morning, so is it a sunny day, you know, <laughs> that can all depend, so I'm going to be, and the strains that I have is only Strawberry Cough, which is like an 80 to 90% Sativa, uh, and then Bubba Kutch, which is like 90 to 100% Indica, and a uh, tiny bit of Wedding Cake, which is like 80 to 90% Indica, I prefer Sativas or like 50-50 hybrids, like, so... Yeah, um, well, hi, I'm probably going to do mostly Strawberry Cough with a little bit of, uh, one of the Indicas, just to even it out to 50-50, since, uh, Strawberry Cough is, like, again, mostly Sativa. I'll try to see if I can even it out, so it's kind of a 50-50 thing. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so, let's get right into it. Uh, I don't know how long this is all going to end up being, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to start listening. Okay, just finished the first track, um, which is Sunday Driver, which is the name of a strain, by the way. Um, it was pretty good. I liked it, um, though it could be better. I feel like the riffage could be a little bit. It feels like just more of a chill type of song, just a chill uh, type of feel to it, if you ask me. Um, but it's not bad. It's just, it's more, it's more of a chill type of, um, uh, song, I would say. But, yeah. 
on to the next one. Oh yeah, also, um, I'm going to be going along, uh, reading the lyrics along with the song as, as I listen to it, by the way. Uh, so yeah, I forgot to mention that as well. Um, but yeah. And actually, while I'm at it, before I start the next track, um, the Sunday Driver, I'll, I'll get a little more depth. The riffs, I, I mean, again, it's an overall really chill uh, type of song. The tone of the guitars and everything is very um, gravelly. The vocals are very brutal. The screams sound, sound so... They're screams, but they also, at the same time, sound like gurgles, you know? Like, like porno grind type of gurgles kind of mixed in there. <clears throat> Which is really fucking cool. It's a really, it's a really cool sound. The lyrics, it's only like... Have you heard? Have you heard? Everyone's talking about the word. like five lines that are repeated. There's not a lot of vocals in Sunday Driver. Um, I think those lines are repeated twice only, if I remember correctly. Um, the riff is again the riff. The riffs are good and nice and rock and rollish, you know. And the, um, there's a lot more of a chill type of song. The drums are nice. Um, the bass, you definitely feel the bass, and uh, yeah, yeah, but not again, not a lot of lyrics, it's only like five lines, uh, repeated like twice, um, but ain't bad, it ain't bad, the vocals are really good, anyways, on to the next one. Okay, so I just finished the second track, Free the Weed, uh, that one, a lot better, <coughs> kind of, well, <coughs> so the song is six minutes, 13 seconds. So, this one does have verses. It has like three verses. Um, all said within the span of... Maybe two, two, three minutes or so. I think about two minutes. Um, around there. Um, so, definitely has, there's a lot more there. The lyrics are pretty good. Uh, except, you know, personally for me, you know, has the first line is about, you know, voting... To free the weed. Fuck voting. Fuck the government. I never take part in anything the government. That has to do with the government. It's not like it changes anything a lot of times anyways, you know. And it's not like... That's a whole thing, right? But... <laughs> the, the, the vocals are great. Uh, though... <coughs> the riffage... It starts with a little intro riff. And that's all good. Again, a lot more slower and chill. Like the first song, though. No, not too much of uh, that, you know, very groovy rock and roll thing. Because, you know, stoner metal is just, you know, the metal version of stoner rock, you know. And uh, both having that kind of, like, like, psych like psychedelic rock, just very riffy, um, do -do 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 -do, you know, that kind of, you know, just really good shit. And, uh, you know, I, personally, my expectations are a lot of, um, you know, I'm expecting a lot of, the type of riffage that I'd hear on like their album, like their early albums, like um, um, on Gateway or um, God, how can I not remember that? Like I know that they put in a compilation both of those um, EPs. Right, I can only think of that compilation, which is Methods of Attaining High Altitudes. Um, it's been a while, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's kind of what I'm expecting, a little more riffage and shit for the most part. Um, and so with Free of the Weed, <coughs> like with the verses, every time the verses go, it's just like a single note, just, you know, just ringing out, maybe twice in the middle of the verse again. But yeah, and then on to, in between the verses, kind of a little slower, you know, type of riffage. But then, eventually, most of the song is instrumental, and it gets a lot, <laughs> it gets a lot fucking better. <laughs> then, uh, at some point, at first, there's, uh, like, a lead guitar, you know, um, doing some really good kind of riffing, you know, that kind of, you know, stoner metal riffing that I was, uh, really, you know, craving, you know, which just needed. Um, and so that was good. Uh, eventually, that fades a little bit, but there's a little more energy going on. And then at the end of the song, <laughs> that kind of riffing comes back, which kind of turns into like a kind of a solo. 
<laughs> like I don't think I've ever heard Bongzilla do a guitar solo at all. I don't think. Um, <laughs> so that was really fucking cool. Uh, it was it was good. It wasn't like super shreddy or anything, and it was very small. It wasn't that much, but it's really it was good, and I'm expecting more. Now, I'm gonna go on to the next song, Space Rock, which is 10 minutes and <clears throat> 29 seconds. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Fuck. God damn it, yo, y'all, post the lyrics. Apparently the lyrics to Space Rock. <clears throat> damn it, fuck. They ain't anywhere. They're like, you can't find them. <laughs> fuck, man. So yeah, that's gonna fucking suck. Uh, <clears throat> fuck. But, yeah, so uh, if y'all watching this, yo, post the lyrics. Post the fucking lyrics. Cause I, if this song ends up being as awesome as I hope it is gonna be, I'm gonna wanna cover it. So please post the lyrics. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I'm not gonna be able to talk much on the lyrics. Um, all I know is that because I read, trying to search for it, um, I read that it's basically about like um, Mule Boy and his friends uh, making, you know, moon rocks. So, which I think was pretty uh, you know, space rock. I was like, yeah, it's moon rocks. It's about moon rocks. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, let's. Um, about to get into it so let's see how it is all right i just finished space rocks that was good as fuck <laughs> that was even better <laughs> so uh this time i got some notes here um because again it is 10 minutes it's a little much longer song so it kicks in <laughs> with uh <coughs> first it's a little bit of an intro because the last song um it kind of like it fades with like kind of a do, 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 kind of like a fading riff, you know, type of thing, you know, like a um, charging up. And so it, um, this one starts continuing on that, <laughs> and eventually kicks in <laughs> with what I think to me it sounds like a very like <laughs> a medieval type of like riff. like the feel. The riff is a really good riff. So it's, it's slowish. But still, you know, got enough speed to it. And <laughs> to me, it's like, it feels kind of medieval. Like, a kind of a medieval sounding. And <laughs> it just, it made me think, like, it feels like like, like like an adventure. Like, you're going, like, it just feels like an adventure. You know, a medieval type, a medieval adventure. Because of the riff and everything. It's, you just see that. <laughs> it's really fucking cool. Um, you know, a little chill, but still enough energy. Is there kind of a dark medieval type of, type of riff? I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. And then eventually, uh, it turns into more just a simple, you know, much more simple, you know, riff and then vocals. <laughs> Which, fuck, I could tell apart some of the words. Um, maybe if I, like, at some point try to study it and, um, I can find out what the lyrics are myself. But I did make out some a few words, something about ancient spell, space rock. Um, I can't remember anything else. <coughs> Again, vocals still brutal, uh, gurgly, high screams. Um, and then this that simple riff, just very, you know, just very simple shit. Uh, begins to speed up, and then eventually, um, it gets a little good with that kind of speed up, and then eventually slows down and goes back to that medieval sounding riff. Um, and then as that keeps going, <coughs> by the way, those vocals, uh, at, over all together, the max those vocals went on because at first it was like one verse, I guess, and some space in between, with more of that simple riff. And then uh, the second verse. So overall, throughout a minute, maybe thirty seconds or so. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and so that's it. Those will be the <laughs> those will be the vocals throughout the whole for the whole song. The rest of the song is is instrumental. Um. And so back to it. once it goes back to that medieval sounding riff. Eventually, <laughs> there's like. Oh, yeah, some more of that fucking like, more of that riffing, 
a bit of soloing. I mean, I wouldn't say for it's a, a solo, and that kind of continues on throughout a lot of the, the rest of the song. But it's just a certain riff. It's just jamming, kind of, basically. Um, and so it continues on <coughs> for, with more of that kind of riffage, you know, soloish sounding almost type of riffage. It's a lot, a lot more, a lot better. Just really adds to that medieval riff and everything too. Um, it makes it more of that kind of classic uh, stoner metal sound. And then eventually, <coughs> at some point, <laughs> that's what's even better because it's already this song has been the trippiest so far. Because a lot of their stuff from uh, the first, second album and shit is very trippy. They use uh, like these certain effects on the guitar, like on. I think it's a wah pedal or some shit. I don't know. <coughs> I'm not all that technical on that shit, right? I just I just know effects, you know. Right? And it makes it sound very trippy. Um, <coughs> so far, there's not really much of that. This album so far, <coughs> very raw. The guitars are very raw. No, not really much effects or anything. It's just in your face. It's just raw, uh, which I like. And it, and it is, but it is very different uh, for them. Um, but again, once I'm high, I'll truly be able to dictate how trippy it all is. Um, <coughs> but this one, Space Rock, sounded got a kind of trippy on its own with me being sober. Um, and this, especially at this part, uh, while it's doing that whole medieval riff and everything, it like at some point gets really quiet. <laughs> like it quiets down and gets a lot more quiet while still doing that medieval riff and everything. And then the riff, you know, the soloish riffing in the middle, and the drums, and it, <laughs> there's just there's a certain like wall of sound <laughs> that really, yeah, yeah, it just it sounded really trippy-ish. Um, the way it was just all quiet all of a sudden, everything, and it kept going, and eventually got even more quiet, and then <laughs> eventually, finally, just boom, just. All of it just blasts back in at full volume, the medieval riff, and a l still a little bit of that uh, riffing. Um, but eventually that kind of fades, and it's just a medieval riff, and that's kind of the rest of the song. <coughs> so yeah, that one really, really fucking good. I really like that one. That one uh, I like the most so far. Um, but yeah, now on to uh, the next one, which is... The Weed Eater, which is 36 seconds, so I'm guessing like an interlude. So, uh, yeah, let's get to that. Okay, just got done with The Weed Eater. Uh, went by really fast <laughs> uh, for 36 seconds. It's kind of weird. Um, nothing impressive. It was just the same repeating things. It was just... I don't remember much. So <laughs> There was like, I don't know if it was a clean guitar or something, but something just going... Ding, 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 ding. Something like that, with the you know the usual stone metal guitars going at it a little, a little bit, just more of a um, kind of. Let's see. Yeah, it's just the drums, and the guitars are just kind of ringing out really, and it kind of speeds up, it speeds up a little the drumming, just a little bit. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it, it, not much goes on. <laughs> this one thing it does over, oh, throughout the whole thing. It's like a it has there's a sample of like a dude talking, <laughs> which is very reminiscent of like especially um the first album. Fuck, how can I not fucking remember the name of it? Uh, but yeah, so that, that that's cool. Um, so uh, yeah, now on to the next song. Earth bong smoked mags bags, 15 minutes 23 seconds. Uh, which, fuck, god damn, damn it, again, no fucking lyrics, fuck, like there are lyrics, but there you can't, I can't fucking find them anywhere. So fuck, god damn it, fuck man, fuck, cause like I, I know I'm gonna want to cover these, and then I'm not gonna be able to unless I figure out the lyrics for myself. But let's see, let's see how it is though. So uh, yeah. Okay, just finished it, and wow, <laughs> there was there was a lot there. So many more notes I have here. 
Um, so at first it starts with uh, the bass, just a, like a bass riff, nice little bass. Which, by the way, that reminds me, in one of the other songs, I think it was Free the Weed, maybe, or in Space Rock. There's a point where there's uh, the bass or the bass comes in with a little bit of riffage. So yeah, anyways, um, and then the drums come in, and then <laughs> yeah, and then there's that weird. Uh, clean guitar from uh, Weed Eater um, that I talked about. It, it is it is guitar. It is clean guitar. Um, <laughs> it's so fucking weird. And uh, it's it's a slow riff, but still, you know, dun, 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 you know. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it it sounds kind of like kind of eerie, <laughs> you know. It's <laughs> it sounds kind of eerie and. The best way I could describe it is again, it's, it's just it's another that just sounds universal, you know. <laughs> I feel like no one really knows what the fuck I mean when I say that. <laughs> yeah, just the best way I could describe it just sounds universal. That clean guitar as it goes on, um, it's the same riff and everything just keeps repeating for for some time, <laughs> and it sounds really familiar. <laughs> that whole part just sounds really familiar, like. Like if I, like I, as if I'd heard it when I was little at some point. It's so fucking weird. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. Dude, yeah, it's just I don't know how to tell you. Um. That clean, weird, universal sounding, you know, fucking familiar guitar, and so that goes on for a bit. <laughs> and then the guitars, the riff comes in, boom. It's just a regular, you know, slow, you know, a slower type of stoner metal riff. And then there's other riff comes in, which is a much more energizing kind of uh, riff. Almost, almost power metal like. <laughs> the, the way it kind of sounded, the, the chords and everything. <clears> that were used is very, a lot more of an, a faster and energizing feel to it. Almost power metal like. Um, and then that riff continues on with vocals. And then it's about like a verse, I think, of the vocals. And then, like, uh, what I typed down is like a do re mi riff, like a do re mi, like, like it was a do 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 do, like that, literally, uh, basically, and so just yeah, so <coughs> that's some of that, and then back to that energizing riff, and then eventually, vocals come in again for a second verse. It's kind of like space rock. <laughs> that's it two verses of vocals that's all you're gonna hear the rest is basically instrumental uh, and then that do do you know do re mi riff again and then some kind of weirdish sounding type of like lead riffing a little bit um it kind of sounds like the um a little bit like a distorted version of the clean guitar from the beginning a little bit <laughs> but i'm not sure if it was the same riff i don't think so but had a few of the same notes, I feel like. Um, and then more more riffing, more of that uh, lead riffing and uh, sounding more solo-ish a little bit. Um, a little soloing, <laughs> which again, that, that that's fucking great. I love that. More of that uh, lead riffing and, 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 and um, a little solo-ish type of stuff. Definitely really good. I love that. Then it quiets down, gets more chill, um, some cool sounding riffs, and then um, the bass riff, uh, another ba the bass doing some, some of its riffing again, then rises up until it's the doi re mi riff again, uh, then it slows down, uh, and the guitars just ring out, and for a while the guitars are just ringing out as there's just coughing, so uh, you know. Good shit. <laughs> um, a lot much more chill and slow guitars, uh, with with but with the drums really, really kind of more going at it. Um, and then the guitars ringed out again, and then seemed to kind of faded. And the drums rose until a very more soft, chill riff. Um, like it's like softly, softly played. You know the the the, the notes. Um, rings out again and then the riff, a riff kicks in and it all just kind of speeds up 
the drumming's a lot faster, and then the riff eventually fades again um, until another riff comes in. It's a lot more chill, and then it all kind of chills down. It's more quiet with a little bit of lead riffing. Uh, chills down again, way more quiet and slower, and then uh, kicks in with a just one strum. Um, and then faster drumming, a lot faster fucking drumming, and eventually fucking bongos or some shit <laughs> kind of join in on the drumming. Uh, definitely haven't heard from them. They're unique. It did sound good. Maybe it was cowbell or something. It was just very, you know, more of that acoustic drumming type of thing. Kind of sounded like. Um, eventually the guitars completely fade away and it's just the drumming um, with the bongos and shit. But really going at it with the drumming. And then it speeds up, and then eventually the bongos or whatever just fade out, and it's just uh, distorted kind of drumming. And then it ends. It was really fucking good. <laughs> that song was really fucking good, especially like... Only certain songs just have a certain universal feel to it. And I'm sober, okay? So, <laughs> that, that's, gonna be a, that's gonna be a whole experience once I'm refueling this while high. But yeah, um, definitely, yeah, what can I say, it's a uh, really good song, again, can't find the lyrics, that fucking sucks, hopefully I can figure them out, or post them, um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, awesome fucking song, 15 minutes, definitely worth it, it's, it's good as fuck, um, and now, I think I have, yeah, one more song left, six minutes 21 seconds called gummies so now we're getting into the edible world um, so uh, which this this one I just reviewed here earth bong smoked ma mags bong mags bags uh, so yeah that's all specific for the the bongs but let's get into the let's get into the gummies let's see how it is okay just finished that song which is the last song but <laughs> on the deluxe version there is Another song, uh, title track, Wisconsin, that I'm also gonna do. Um, now, <laughs> damn it, here's the thing. Fuck, I, I realized apparently uh, before this album, uh, they had put out uh, this EP called uh, Nectar Collector, which has uh, two new songs. <laughs> Fuck, damn it, so I'm gonna have to get to that um, another time. And then this other, like, I don't know who runs it, but someone who runs like something called Doom Sessions. Uh, Bongzilla was featured on it for Volume Four, and it's a split with Bongzilla and this other band. And so it features Nectar Collect, uh, those two songs from the Nectar Collector EP, and then one new song. <laughs> so yeah, the next time for the next review, I'll review uh, the songs off Nectar Collector, and then uh, the new one from the Doom Sessions as well. But yeah, okay, so this one, Gummies. The whole thing is an instrumental. <laughs> Damn it. So yeah, um, it's entirely an instrumental. And uh, it's literally just the same riff and everything throughout the entire song. The whole six minutes and everything. And it starts off at some point, it's like some laughing. Which later on in the song comes again. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. I mean, it's good. It's a good riff. But it's just... I guess it's like an outro song, I guess. I, um, it's just the same riff. Like, just goes on the entire song. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now on to, uh, from their deluxe version of the album, uh, the title track, which, which I don't know why they'd have a title track for the album and not have it on the regular version instead on just the deluxe, which is kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, let's get to Wisconsin. Okay, finally finished Weed Consent, and uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely <clears throat> loved it. It was really good. A lot more, um, a little more energizing. It did. It does have like a, a more um, kind of again like a medieval type sounding riff. <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, what was it? Space rock, I think. Right, I think so. <clears throat> Dude. So yeah, I did have a bit of that uh, medieval type of sounding riff again, but this time more, more a little more of a different feel. Some more like 
energizing morph. Let's go, fuck yeah. You know, just that kind of feel, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then after that, oh, overall, everything else, more of that classic stoner metal type of sound and everything. <coughs> this one does have lyrics. It does have lyrics. <coughs> okay. And I, you, I can find them. And it's literally only five words. <laughs> okay. So, and it gets repeated, I think, two or three times. And it's just plant, seeds, black, dirt, sunshine. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be like plant seeds, black dirt, sunshine, or if it's like plant, as in the, the plant weed, plant seeds, black dirt, sunshine. You know, like the process of growing it, I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, <laughs> not, not a lot there. You could do better lyrically, come on. <laughs> but, uh, instrumentally, it's, fucking, it's a great fucking song. It's an awesome song for sure. Uh, still pretty trippy, a little trippy -ish. Uh Sober, well, sober, most of these aren't all that trippy. So far, the most trippiest one is, uh, Earth Bong, Smoked, Mags Bags. So, which I. I think is the best song so far. <laughs> Second place for me would be Space Rock, I think. Um, all the songs are, are fucking great. <coughs> but yeah, okay. definitely a kind of weird, like a medieval type of sound to the riffage is uh, pretty new. But I like it. I like it. It's good shit. So uh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that is the review of Bongzilla's new album in 16 years. Weed Consent, motherfuckers. While Sober. That was my review. While Sober. So, what I recommend it to you if you don't smoke or are on a tolerance break or something, yes, it is It is a great fucking album to listen to while sober. Uh, it's awesome riffs. It's, it's, and it can just be a whole experience a uh, little bit. And they're good ass songs. It's, it's mostly instrumental, not a lot of vocals, but it's still really fucking good. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, um, and now, the next portion, I will be reviewing it while high, so, uh, yeah, again, song by song, basically do the same thing that I did here, I don't know how long, this, I, I've been taking clips, I'm gonna put them all together, I don't know how long this whole video's been so far, so it's probably end up being pretty fucking long, but, uh, let's see, anyways, here's me blasted. I'm gonna be reviewing this motherfucker. Well blasted. So yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before that. <laughs> so while sober, uh, I review it. Kind of an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, honestly. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. Uh, yeah, I'd say 7, 8, 8 out of 10. I think 8 out, eight, 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 eight out of 10 is good. And again, this includes uh, Wisconsin, the song, uh, which is on the deluxe version for some reason. Uh, and the cover art, I, I showed them both at the beginning, I think. Should have edited it in. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, while sober, 7.5 to 8 out of 10. It's just, it is really fucking good, uh, I think. Um, yeah, for what it is, uh, it could be a more of a... I did want a little more of that uh, classic stoner metal sound. But it still did really fucking great. Um, and you know, there's more of that lead riffing, which even on the, on Weed Sconson, there was a little more of as well, the song, um, that lead riffage, a little soloing and shit. So yeah, <laughs> really fucking good. Um, yeah, eight out of 10. Anyways, here is me blasted and reviewing this motherfucker blasted. Okay. Before the high review, <coughs> I just want to commentate more again. It's like, <laughs> The, the overall sound of the album is very, again, like medieval. There's a lot of that medieval sounding riff. Riffing. <coughs> and shit. It's, it's weird. It's, it's, honestly, it's almost like... Is that is that a genre? Medieval metal? <laughs> I don't know. 
All right, I guess folk metal sounds a little bit like that. Or what's that one genre I'm trying to think of? Not folk metal. Celtic metal too, but I can't think of it. Can't remember what what genre of metal. <clears throat> but definitely, yeah, you know that medieval song. <laughs> but if if there isn't like a genre like medieval metal or that has that kind of medieval sound, <laughs> dude, I think Bongzilla just I don't know if they know it, but they just fucking prototype prototyped a new genre, medieval metal. <laughs> but yeah, they 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 created a new genre. They've been they have now created a prototype of a new genre. All right, within their stoner metal. Medieval metal, all right. <laughs> Cause again, it just has that kind of sound. I swear to God, it you can't just be me. It's, it's just the way it sounds. Um, with a lot of those riffs. Um, again, especially with uh, the title track Wisconsin, it had a lot of that. I can't get that riff out of my head. I guess that one could even more pirateish, which I know that's a. Is I think pirate metal is a thing. Um, I'm not sure. I think so. But yeah, so. Um, but overall, yeah, medieval sounding riff and shits. So yeah, they might have just created a prototype new genre, medieval metal. Um, yeah, again, the Weeds Concert one, now that I think about it, it does sound a little pirate metal, but I guess they can go hand in hand medieval. So, yeah. What a motherfucker! Alright, so, about to get high as fuck and uh, review the album while stoned as a motherfucker so uh yeah and i'm i got mostly is sativa stra i mean sorry strawberry cough strain and a tiny little little bit of <clears throat> wedding cake strain strawberry strawberry cough should be i think it's like an 80 to 90 percent sativa or so um 75 at least and then uh, wedding cake should be about <clears throat> 60 to 70, 75 percent indica. So I'm, you know, hopefully I can kind of equalize it all together, 50-50. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's kind of high as fuck, motherfuckers. And my own quote: "Stun her up." Oh, 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 fuck, yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this got fucking blasted. See how this is. By the way, my quote, Stone Her Up. It's from a title of one of my songs from a... One of the, uh, one of the uh, genres out of two that I've officially created so far, Stoner Core. Um, on the Stoner Core EP. Stoner Rep, bitch. That's why my love quote. Hell yeah, good shit. Anyways, um, I'm gonna let it come in, and then I'm gonna commence and start listening. So, yeah, again, I'm gonna do the whole album, including, uh, the song Wisconsin, which is from their deluxe version of the album. But yeah. Also, it's Tuesday, and the clip swaps over. That was Sunday. I was gonna record this high part yesterday, Monday. But it was too cloudy. I wanted to have like the same atmosphere and everything from Sunday, kind of as much as possible. So you know, some sunlight coming in and shit. But um, yeah. All right. So I'm I'm feeling it. I'm getting blasted. Just put in the earbuds and I'm about to start the first song, Sunday Driver. Let's see if there's any reaction. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that riff is so good. Also, same volume as when sober. So yeah, all the same factors mostly. Okay, the high, first off, the high grew throughout that first song. So it's a good introduction to that. Um, I'm super blasted, I just finished it. <clears throat> And so, okay, I had to take a picture of the notes from, from this phone. 
because I can't look. Yeah. You know, anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> basically the whole song, like, was way more of an experience. Like, like I said, I mean, it's just went high. A lot of things not better could be. Some definitely are better. Some some stuff that you do or whatever can definitely be better about high. But um, this it was like. Um, an experience more so, you know, this just can't compare, you know, but can still be better than, than the other one, you know what I mean? So, okay, basically, I remember when this song came out as a single before the album, I was, I, it was fine, but I wasn't that impressed with it, you know, it, was, it, was, it seemed too plain, too simple, I don't know, you know, especially compared to uh, their stuff from Stash, I finally remember the name, um, and shit is just... You know, I, I don't know, um, but just now this is the first time. Sunday was the first time when I was reviewing this while high. I mean, while sober. Fuck, I'm high right now. Uh, while sober, the song was better than I had remembered for sure, a lot better, definitely better. And now while high, it's wow, way more, <laughs> even better. Or, um, and so, for example, like, uh, there's like a riff where it, go, where it just goes, especially for the verses. And then after that, it's like... It's not, it didn't go like that at all, I just can't remember it. But, yeah, for the verses and shit, it's just a... Repetitive, and that was that simpleness that, you know, it's like... A In place of that, it could be something more, you know riffy um but uh well hi uh definitely came to appreciate a lot more and i was like like i'm right here in the notes this was a lot more effective and i, I, I had me just bobbing my head to every done <laughs> you know like it was good <laughs> and then um uh, the main riff which is uh, definitely, it was ooh, way better, way, I mean, it's already a really good riff, but while high, it just, it seemed like it had a little more speed, I don't know, it was weird, um, it was really good, a lot better, um, and then once there was this, that lead that I talked about, came in, and then eventually turned into a whole guitar solo and shit, it was, now already, it's awesome, while sober, for sure, like, hell yeah, uh, but while wow, high, it was like a whole other experience. And as I wrote right here, during guitar solo part and shit, made me feel, and it's like I saw being at Woodstock. Like just that lead guitar, the, the tone, the, the, that soloing, like, ooh, you know? Um, so yeah, Sunday Driver, really good. A lot better. A lot. Well, high. Um, okay, on to the next song. Okay, I just finished the second song, Free the Weed. And, um, <laughs> so the whole intro, in the, in the intro riff, even though it's so simple, it's still, like, better while high. Even even better, well, so much better while high. And even sounds more riff, riffy-like, for somehow, it was just, like, just very slow, like, kind of repeating with the same notes. But just yeah yeah but it was so much that just sounded, just sounded better <laughs> uh, and the first two vo so in the first two verses uh, with the vo where the vocals are at because three verses on the song uh the time between like the first two verses like ends first one and then the time until the second <laughs> it was so much quicker. It was so much faster than I originally remembered while sober. Like, while sober, it felt it went on for a little, you know, too long. You know, just to just, just get a lot long, a lot, you know, like 20 seconds or something, like 30 seconds. Wow, hi. <laughs> Dude, like 10, all right? Like, it went by so much faster. I wasn't even surprised. Like, yo, what the fuck was it? It wasn't that fucking quick going <laughs> originally. Um, and the vocals are still brutal as fuck, of course. Uh, and there's a certain riff 
in the um, in the rest of the song because the rest is just instrumental. Um, where it's like I tra it traveled me back in time to certain memories a lot when I was little at one of my mom's friends' houses with her kids and shit. <clears throat> so you know we're around the same age. <laughs> Fuck! I just got a flashback of that. I just traveled me back in time for a bit and the, the mood and everything. And the main riff also throughout that uh, instrumental part was fucking great. And then you know the lead, the lead again is doing an awesome fucking riff. It's just so good. And then I was able to hear. I, I there was some point where I was able to hear the bass way better, like cl almost clearly in the the riffage it was doing. God damn, bro, good as fuck, yo. The the bass sounded. So much better. Well, not that it didn't sound good, but I could just hear it better. Um, and even centralized, you know, took took the lead at a certain point. And its riffs are just so fucking good, being able to hear them. So, awesome as fuck. And now on to the next one. The next one is, uh, I think it's a man pajama. This one's going to be a little longer. Well, it's space rock. 10 minutes, 29 seconds. Let's get ready for this. Let's go. Now, with this one and the other one, just uh, 15 minutes, um, I may take clips in between more. Because, uh, you know, I feel like it's definitely going to be like a whole adventure, you know? Uh, so, there's like any, you know, big reactions or something that I'm seeing or experiencing when I'm seeing these ones. Because, again, this was 10 minutes. Um, you know, film, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to listen more, and then hopefully take enough notes and shit to kind of be able to summarize it all up and how it felt and what and shit, so, yeah. That, like, that first riff, it's, like, it, the, so medieval, it's, like, I, it does, it's still, it just sounds like a medieval riff, medieval. It's, feels a lot slower <clears throat> this time instead of faster like the overall you know service and everything but it's so groovy so good it just blasted in the whole riff the medieval riff and shit so fucking good also I've been going along with the lyrics for the ones there are. This one again, can't find the lyrics. And same with most of the other ones, so yeah. The vocals just came in. The whole, like, that whole riff is much more, you know, audible. It sounds so much more power with it. That old, like, louder version of that main riff had me really going. <laughs> the rest is instrumental, the verses have passed. Just that main medieval riff back, more quieter, and it gets more quiet. And then that lead comes in, adding more riffage. So trippy. Just had me. Oh, that's another thing. Well, hi, the uh, songs feel a lot more trippier now. So yeah. Cause again, like, <coughs> sorry, like the, 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 these songs, like all these, are a lot more. There's no effects like a wah pedal or anything. It's just, it's just raw. <laughs> Fuck it, it's fucking raw. So you wouldn't think it'd be that trippy, but it's what they play and how they play it that is still just so much like already trippy. Wah high definitely trips you out. So yeah, it's able to trip you out real good. Like I was getting lost in the galaxy. 
it's not even using effects or like too much production, you know, going brum, brum, or anything, right? Like, it's just raw, you know. There's some like, you know, left to right stuff, but yeah. Okay, I just finished Space Rock. <laughs> I mean, all those clips was during the song, all the way until the end, basically. Yeah, <laughs> it was just, I have no notes. Uh, except from like Sunday, really. Um, <laughs> like it was so, it was so fucking trippy. <laughs> like uh, Sunday Driver was a little, a little trippy, and then Free the Weed was a little, a little more trippier, okay, a little more trippier. Again, no effects throughout the entire album, by the way. Not, not, you know, it'll do some stuff like left or right or left or yeah, you know, like, that kind of thing. You're like, you know, dual. While still having a lot of that, like, mono wall of sound. But, not really, you know, effects to the guitars or anything much. <laughs> so, you know, I didn't, see, I wouldn't think it'd be, like, that trippy. Or as trippy, but it is. Um, so, yeah, and just, 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 just playing. Just playing those fucking riffs. That's all it takes. Um, so, that, that medieval adventure-like riff. I'm kind of chill -ish. So, so much stronger, just everything's so much stronger. There was a point where, like, it felt like she was going longer or, sh or for shorter. Um, so yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> really fucking good, really fucking good. Like, it's already an awesome song, it's over, but now it's like <laughs> very trippy, very awesome. <laughs> I'm so fucking eyes. This, this is great. This is great. All right, the next one is the Weed Eater, which is a um, an interlude, I guess. And then the one after that, I'll, and I'll do a little review of how that is still. And then after that, it's the 15 minute one, Earth Bong, Smoked Mags Bags. So <laughs> <laughs> that one's I know I'm gonna be tripping, bro. Again, like that universal like clean guitar. It's gonna get me. It's gonna get me. Let's see what happens. And again, I know you can't hear what I'm hearing, but I don't know how to also edit that in. I don't have the songs like I have bought them on the App Store to be able to put them in there. So, yeah, um, you're just you're just getting raw, super raw, like my dick. Uh, live reactions of just how it is. Sometimes I like I just don't even I can't even afford to look at the screen. I just stay like, okay, that's trippy right now. Okay, I'm using my periphery. Grab the phone. Press the right button, film, and I'm still tripping. <laughs> you know, I, I don't look around. I'm, I'm <laughs> anyways, yeah. So I know it might be a little boring sound-wise, but yeah. Anyways, okay. Just finished that. Uh, the 35-second interlude. It's pretty fucking trippy for <laughs> again. Like sober, it's just. I mean, it's you can listen to it. It's good. It's just. It's weird, you know, again, that really weird, like, what is apparently clean guitar, you know, just, just how it sounds and everything. Um, just, but while high, it definitely is more, more of a trippy experience, you know. Um, so, yeah, and now on to Earth Bond, Smoke to Max Bags, 15 minutes, 23 seconds. Let's go. It's like this. that base <laughs> okay <laughs> that weird clean guitar riff thing <laughs> it's so creepy and weird it's eerie it's just eerie well hi it's more intense it's that universal feel it's so strong yo <laughs> it's so weird It's like a total trip. It is a whole level of experiencing that. It feels it makes you feel nostalgic, yo, it's like it's so weird what that sound just makes. It's, it's it's feeling. There's so much certain feelings in there. 
and now came into distortion that main disorder riff again I feel like it, may, it might be the same like clean guitar riff um, but yeah but distorted it just doesn't sound that trippy but still good fuck that that main verse for the, for the riffs and then the verse comes in the vocals brutal <laughs> But yeah, it's so fucking it's trippy. So it feels, it feels so much faster a little a little bit. It's definitely again again that medieval type of feel. Okay, in the riff is a medieval type of, of sound, you know? It's like you're going to battle, kinda. <laughs> That lead is coming now. Also, the the mood and the atmosphere is different now because uh, you know the sun isn't shining in as hard. Fuck, fucking clouds sometimes, man. So yeah, Sunday was just full sun, so it's way more brighter. So yeah, this whole part with the riff, <laughs> it feels like the end of the world or some shit. <laughs> The, this, the rest of this is, has been just instrumental. Fuck, it's so good, that lead. The, the riffs it does and soloing. I did not notice the bass. <laughs> I, I, I did not notice the, that bass. At all Sunday when I was sober, or barely in that part. This part would get so quiet, and it's just the drums and the bass. The bass doing this like really weird, like alien, <laughs> just just you know thing right there, very quietly. It felt to feel. It. Now it's the coughing sample. <laughs> that clip oh, was uh, around the. Uh, Eight nine second, yeah. Not not eight to nine minute, yeah. Also, the sun's been shining back and strong, so yeah. Okay, that last clip is right at the very, very last twenty seconds, dude. <laughs> fuck, yo. <laughs> So that fuck, so that fucking part at the very end, like I like I had said, well sober, <laughs> the very end of Earth Bong smoked Mag's bags. Um, <laughs> at some point it all was quieting down way more, way more, until it was, it was just like what seemed like the drums, and then some bongos or some shit, like I said, came in or some type of percussive instrument like that, and. <laughs> it's so fucking trippy immediately, and it just made me just gaze out, just the drumming, and the and the, the, the bongos and shit, and then I realized like, there was bass in that. I like, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear the bass in that part at all. Like I don't remember that. I don't remember hearing it throughout that whole outro. Um, and I thought it was just the drums and shit. <laughs> it wasn't. There was bass in there but very quiet <laughs> very fucking quiet very light you can just feel it you can feel the bass you know you kind of feel and I, I can hear the notes and shit so weird swear to god that wasn't there dude um so yeah that, <laughs> fuck, that whole thing was a fucking that was an experience the fuck the medieval riff medieval feeling riff and everything really made you feel it, it was fuck it was like a fucking adventure full on all right now to the last one um, gummies, and then we'll get to the deluxe version, the bonus song, uh, Wheat Sconson, which is also the name of the album. So, yeah, let's, see, let's see how Gummies is, which is totally instrumental, I remember. Okay, on Gummies, <laughs> again, I remember, this entire song is the exact same riff all throughout, but I forgot, I mean, that I, I get it, I do get it, I, there's songs like that that I like, that I like to make. There's just, just so many different ways to 
uh, write or riff, you know, have the same riff, and, and different ways to do it, you know what I mean? Different transitions and shit. So I can't get it. It's, it's fine, I get it so much trippier while well, high. Um, more intense, it's good. Okay, mood's definitely changing. You know, the kind of atmosphere. Since the sun is starting to move out and get blocked. So, yeah. Darker. <laughs> it feels universal right now. And the riff is slowed down. Like, that's what I noticed as well. As I noticed it does slow down very slowly throughout the song. So, at first it starts off fast and then it gets slower and slower. There's a different mood, different feel. And again, Gummies is 6 minutes 21 seconds. Alright. Now the riff feels more <laughs> playful. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It sounds more fun. Kind of childlike. It's, it's weird. And the sound is like heavy and like, like intimidating. You know, it just sounds carnivalish. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, but that kind of sound, like, you know, that kind of feel of the notes. Alright, just finished gummies. And, <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, like, it, while sober, it, it can kind of get more. I mean, I'm sure, you know, I could try to pay more attention, but it was just a repeating riff while sober. I'm sure I could still, you still notice all those little things and shit while sober, maybe. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, well, hi. Fuck, it's so much better. So it felt, it was just a trippy trip. It was a really trippy song and shit, you know? The, the way it progresses and all the different like little changes. <laughs> Fuck in the mood. And again, being high, there's limitless possibilities. You know what I mean? <laughs> like so many ways to, to be high, you know? There's so many factors. Like, you know, are you smoking? Are you gonna be high at night? Or during the day, you know, what time of the day? Is it a bright day, cloudy day, rainy day? You know, there's just so many different, you know, and then your general atmosphere, you know, what's your room look like? What does your environment look like and, and feel to you? There's so many different ways to experience weed. Like, you can have, and, and you're never gonna have the same thing. Well, a lot of times, I mean, you can have the same kind of feel and everything once you experience them. But, and you're able to, you know, keep imitating that certain feel for it with your atmosphere, but like, yeah, I just, <laughs> it's fucking great, okay? <laughs> and so, that, that, that song, he's like, it like represents that because that riff, there's so many different ways to play it. You know, the drums could do, be doing this, it could be the exact same riff, no change there, right? But it's just what the other instruments do to implement into the song and the changes that uh, the, the drums do to get slower and then the whole general speed of it all of the same riff for six minutes and 21 seconds okay it's fucking good as hell so i i do love it it's so much better while high and you get you really understand it. it it was good while sober like you can still jam to it but it also felt a little more like a background kind of song but this while high is it's, it's a fucking experience most of all so yeah <clears throat> All right, and now I'm gonna <laughs> but let's get to the last one last one uh, Title track Wisconsin the bonus song in the deluxe version um, Yeah uh, This one is the shortest out of all of them and this one you know, on, on the on the regular version of the album had to, so the bonus on the deluxe version so <laughs> It's four minutes 34 seconds normal they could they should oh did they fuck they released it on 420 like i said in, uh last year and april 2021 so uh because they've done it before they have made sure to make like the entire length of a song four minutes and 20 seconds okay they have done it before they are fucking kings okay in stoner mouth <laughs> honestly um so they could have done that for this album, you know, it's the first album in 16 years. You're, you're putting that out on 420. Should have brought that back. But, uh, you know, that, that that's outside of, of the art, you know, kind of just... Um, 
but still would have been so much cooler. It would have been so great. Anyways, all right, let's get to Wisconsin. Final one. Add up the score. And I'm gonna fuck your bitch. In kicked in that uh, I got a very medieval sounding riff. Kind of pirate, more pirate-ish, or a mix of the two, I guess. Just finished it. Fuck, it's so fucking good. Dude, it's just... Fuck. See, especially stoner, stoner metal. And shit. And prototype, you know, stoner rap. Like, <laughs> fuck, it's so fucking good. It's so, it's so good. So this album... It's expected while well, high. Fuck it. It's a fucking experience. Bro, it's an experience all on its own. It's so good. I swear to God, I think they invented medieval metal. Like, like, or at least a prototype of it. Because, like, and I'm talking, like, straight up. Like, I could hear that shit. You know, a lot of those riffs in fucking Skyrim, okay? <laughs> Being played by, by, you know, this is the instruments from that time. You know, flutes. Uh, they did have little, little guitars. Um... But they were like acoustic, you know, little ones, yeah. Um, pan flutes and, you know, all that, all that shit. <laughs> um, I could, I could hear it in the games. It'd be like a, it's just that, that kind of feel. <laughs> so fucking good. Even on its, you know, full on. It's good as fuck. They're good as hell. And, um, very riffy. Again, on this one, <laughs> Wisconsin, the, it feels more pirate metal, which I, I, I think it is a thing. Um, but yeah, so definitely, you can definitely feel that, um, again, most of it, I, I, I already described how the song is, uh, it has, like, two, two verses, I think, yeah, 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 two verses, five words, so, <laughs> and then the rest, after those verses are come and gone, uh, like the other ones that had vocals throughout this album, uh, eventually, it, the rest is just the instrumentals and just jamming that lead fucking awesome lead guitar doing riff a lot riffier shit more riffs more soloing and shit so good it's so fucking good so fuck yeah this album I guess fuck okay if I gave it what did I give it Pulse over like seven to to eight right or nine out of ten wow hi for what it, it's unique. <laughs> it, de it definitely has like a lot of parts where it's like, you know, cl a classic stoner metal type of sound. Like Sunday Driver was more of that. Um, Gummies was sort of more more of that type of feel. And some riffs off some of the other songs, a few riffs. Because um, <laughs> again, it felt like it was also like, they just created prototype medieval metal if that isn't already a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. But still so fucking trippy on its own. Cause, I mean, any other genre, you know, pop punk, um, deathcore, uh, hardcore punk rock, fucking, you know, any any other genre, uh, crunkcore, electronica, electronicore, you know, can can still sound trippy as fuck. You know, it can, or it can just be its own, always its own experience. But especially genres that are made for that, you know, it's fucking great. So oh, it's even better, bro. So yeah, for what it, that 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 effect that it has, I'd say nine to ten out of ten, around there. Uh, if we're if we're comparing it to like their more classic stoner metal uh, stuff and you know a general you know sound of stoner metal, then nine, maybe nine and a half. Uh, if we're comparing it to just uniqueness. Um, yeah, and the experience of it, I'd say, I think I'd say a 10. <laughs> so yeah, Weedsconsin, alright, Bongzilla from Weed, Weedsconsin, um, they did fucking great, <laughs> they did fucking, they didn't know what the fuck is up, alright, Mule Boy, like, it was all going, it was all going, um, I think it's a trio now? Um, gotta check on that, but yeah, so, <laughs> it, fuck yeah, awesome fucking album, awesome stoner metal album from the fucking kings themselves, 
Finally, <laughs> fuck yeah. Wheat's gone some bitches. And uh, I still gotta go, you know, check out their Nectar Collector EP and then that one other new song. But that'll be another video. <laughs> so fuck yeah. Chat, definitely I recommend the album, especially any stoners out there and shit. Um, <laughs> fuck yeah. Definitely recommend it. Buy it. Get, get some merch. I need Bongzilla merch. How the fuck do I not have Bongzilla merch? Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I, sh I will. <laughs> definitely. Um... I mean, I've had so many experiences and trips with, with Bongzilla. Even with, with my bros. Uh, especially with Michael. This is one clip from Insta on Insta. From uh, April. Yeah, I think it was no, March. March, yeah. I think it was March 2019. Fuck! <laughs> There's no way it's been that so long, longer than it feels. It's, it feels like it's just been two years ago. No. <laughs> But yeah, um, it was such a trippy and such such a hilarious video. It's fucking, it's just. Anyway, that's all another thing. <laughs> Fuck it. Hope you enjoyed the fucking video. Hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you hope you do agree with the review. Leave it, you know, go in the comments and and slap your clit on it. All right, let me know and uh, <laughs> share the video if you like the video. Go listen to Bongzilla. And check out their latest album, alright? Fucking legends. Legendaries always, uh, for the most part. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't like the whole, uh, they have this album, Ameri America Wannin? Amira Wannin? Yeah, that's, that's their problem. It's like a mix of American and marijuana. So, Amira Wannin, I think. Anyway, <laughs> you know. Fuck do you say, all right? I'm, I'm, you, y'all know me. Y'all know who I am. Y'all know what I do. You know, you know what I'm about. But uh, and everything that's not, you know, too patriarchal. But they do talk about how the, you know, legal, you know, they advocate for, for it to be legalized and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, be like, yo, legalize it, you fucking fucktards, you know. But still, anyways, <laughs> check out Bongzilla. Awesome motherfuckers. Legendary name too. Come on now. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, ten, uh, 9 to the 10 out of 10 overall for this album, so definitely check it the fuck out, it's good fucking shit, motherfuckers, so, uh, yeah, anyways, rock out, oh, and subscribe for all kinds of content, rock out, <laughs> yo, 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 here, this game looks fucking familiar, it's, uh, Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Neutron. Did we ever have this? <laughs> I remember something like this, yo. I like went back in time. Like I remember as he as he walks forward and see, like the way it looks and, and the music kind of. Enjoyed this game as a kid. Holy fuck! I never played it. I just saw the speed runs for it. Like, thought it was. Like, I fucking cool. recognize it. But yeah, it looks, it like looks it's so familiar. It's so weird. No, these are our bonus clips, by the way. Still been high as fuck <laughs> dude it's like god it seems familiar it's so weird it's a certain like feeling atmosphere feeling certain memories i just feel like i'm there you know it's, it's so i don't know how to explain you all right but shit's good and i ate some good ass fucking pasta oh god that reminded me of one fuck that bitch <laughs> anyway <laughs> um yeah so uh um, I'm gonna go eat some more snacks.